hey Ross World, my money makes money. Pay yourself first. Now, you have a lot of bills, you have a lot of obligations, you have a lot of expenses that you need to pay, or rather you have to pay every month. But pay yourself first. Now, we talked about investing, okay? $150 a month. But for some people, that is just not feasible, okay? I don't have $150 to invest, okay? I rarely or I barely have $50 to save. But this is the kicker, right? When you don't pay yourself first, that money is used for something totally different. Oh, you're walking. I want coffee. Oh, you're buying some sort of trinket. You're buying all these gadgets that you don't need. But you claim that you don't have enough money to pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. There is no getting around it. Now, granted, I would love for you to take $150 and invest it. I would love for you to take another $150 and put it in high yield savings. That's with, so far, Dollar Savings Direct. And if you want to get on the Bean list, which is that 2 to 4% high yield savings that they're trying to really generate enough clientele to get it going, the link is in the description. Pay yourself first. This is the thing. What is really money used for? Okay, you can gift money. You pay your bills with money. People pay you money. But money is meant to exchange hands, just like they used to trade. I got this, you give me that. But for us, we need to stop having money to exchange hands, okay? When we put our money out in the atmosphere, we need to get double, triple, or quadruple of the money back in our accounts. See, you have a lot of expenses. You have a lot of bills, but you don't have a lot of income. You say, hey, I got bills, I got car note, I got car insurance, I got food, I got life insurance. You got all this money going out, but you have one source of money coming in, your income. How can you create residual, active, and passive income? I'm trying to give you the information. I'm trying to get it out there. I just did a video not too long ago about annuities, okay? That is one source. I have many videos on investing. I have many videos trying to give you different ways these tips and tricks I keep hammering away about getting it done. Look in the description, you will see Wealthfront. Go ahead and give your 5,000 extra so they can manage your money. Look in the description, look for Stash. They're gonna give you $5 for free and look in the description for Robinhood. It's gonna give you a free stock and it's gonna give me a free stock. I'm giving the information, go ahead and sign up and get this free money, these free stocks that these companies or actually, listen, you don't even have to invest, okay, with Robinhood. You set up your bank account, and they're going to give you a stock. Now, granted, the stock is nothing great. It may be some Zynga or, or some uh, um, plug power. It's going to be no more than 3 or $4. But the point is, you own a fraction. You own a piece of a company, and you never did before. And that may encourage you to invest more money. Because when you see that stock fluctuate up, oh man, the value of my share went up to this amount. That may encourage you and hopefully it prompts you, it springboards you to actually learn about investing. Now granted, granted, if you have a lot of debt, if you have a lot of debt, then I need you to knock that down first. Can you do these things simultaneously? Yes, you can. But when you spread all your eggs in these different baskets, when we're talking about money here, and we're not solely talking about investing, you're going to slow down the amount that you would to pay off your debt. It slows down. And we know anything about debt, the interest is just like in savings. Compound interest, compound interest. It doesn't matter. So I want you to really tackle your debt aggressively then we can start doing the savings and investing. But you need to pay yourself first. Because listen, some of you have credit card debt. You have car loans. You have personal loans. You have lines of credit. You got business loans. You got bills, 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 bills. But the first thing you don't do is what? You don't pay yourself. You don't. 
You take that money in your account. You pay all your bills. You say, hey, I have two, three, four hundred dollars left. Some people are like, I got ten dollars left, dog. Guess what? With that money that you know you just gonna blow, and some of you just saying, oh, I gotta treat myself, I gotta treat myself. No, though, you don't have to treat yourself. Put that money in high yield savings. Don't even invest it. If you have a low minimum amount of money after you pay all your bills, then I need you to save 70% of it. I need you to save at least half of it. Because guess what? You're young, you're rambunctious, you're beautiful, you're spirited, you're energized right now. But give me 10, 20 years, I'm be walking around this thing like, oh, I gotta go to work. I got bad knees, I got bad shoulders. Who wants to be working after 60? Now granted, if you're a tour guide and you travel in different countries or you selling timeshare, you know, crooking people. <laughs> but the point I'm making is if you're in a profession that you like, but you're still saying, hey, I'm not gonna do this forever, start paying yourself first. Start paying yourself right now, today. Whether you get paid twice a month or you get paid once a month, you need to pay yourself first. And paying yourself first does not mean that you're gonna use that liquid cash to do anything else but to save for your future. Because guess what? You're gonna get old. <laughs> oh yeah. And some of us, you're planning, you're eating healthy, you're using all the right products, but you never know how your body's gonna turn out. You could be walking down the steps and trip and fall and you be crippled. You don't know. I'm not wishing bad on anybody because I don't want it to happen to me. But we just don't know what's going to happen to us. But when we look in our bank account, we're looking at zeros with no numbers in front of it. Pay yourself first. And the way you do this, that budget, right? I'm going to come back to it, guys. The four tiers of money. Debt. Budget, investing, and savings, okay? Not in any order. The only ones I want you to think about in order is this. You know what? I'm going to put them in order. I take that back. Let me put them in order. Debt, budget, savings, and investing in that particular order. Because the reason why that's important, because we want to really kill debt. We want to pay down debt. And then once we have that debt paid down, we can really start to map out, and this is kind of simultaneously with your paying down debt because you can't do none of the other two without budgeting. We need to know how much we can apply to the debt. We need to know how much we can apply to the savings. We need to know how much we can apply to the investing. This is something that you must do. This is something that you should do, and this is, this is something that you can do by yourself. I have a video that I made a while back. You just have to scroll through all my videos, unfortunately. But I, if you look inside the playlist, the Raw's financial playlist, you will get there just a little bit quicker. But I did a video on budgeting apps. Now, you have to go in there and play around with the different apps that you like the innovative design and the way the program works for you. It's, you know, we like different things. You may like a platform more so than another one. That is on you. I'm giving the information. Now, I need you, regardless of what's going on beside you, what's going on at work, what's going on at home, and what's going on around you, I need you to pay yourself first. I'm out.